It is just about the end of 2023 and if you need to create a piece of art for yourself or for your business or for whatever other reason, chances are you're not going to need to learn Illustrator or Photoshop or even learn how to draw with a pencil and paper because nowadays we have so many different tools on the market which are based on AI and can help you build those graphics within 10, 20, maybe 50 seconds at max. And today in this video, we're going to be comparing two of the biggest players on the market, which are Midjourney and DALI 3. This video will have a format of a boxing match with a number of different rounds where we'll be comparing things like the cost, the accessibility and the ease of use, how easy it is to retrieve images, can we edit them, and then we'll move on to a number of different art styles which might be relatable to you and myself. So we'll be looking at drawing faces, hands, animals, a bit of abstract art, sketches, celebrities, and so on. So without much further ado, let's jump right into it. In terms of using DALI 3, we have two options. One is using ChatGPT, the plus version, or Bing.com's chat feature. In terms of mid-journey, there is one option, and that is to use Discord to use the tool. So let's compare the costs. So for DALI 3, it's relatively simple. Either use ChatGPT, the plus edition, which is $20 a month. Unfortunately, the free version does not come with DALI 3 included. And then the other option, which I think you're going to like, is Bing.com, which is free. It allows you to generate a number of images quickly for free and then it slows down as you run out of the tokens which you can then buy. You don't really need to if you don't mind waiting a little bit longer for generating those images. Now for mid-journey it is a little bit complicated to say the least. So here's the rundown. You have four plans basic, standard, pro and mega and then you can pay for those either on an annual basis or a monthly basis, which has an effect on the pricing. So basically we're looking at a minimum of $8 a month for the basic plan and a maximum of $120 a month for the mega plan. The differences between those are how many images you can generate. Can you generate images in the relaxed format, which means it's slower but cheaper to generate those images? How many jobs you can run at the same time? and if your images will be available to the public or are they going to be strictly confidential just for your eyes only. I think it's easy to say that Bing.com and DALI 3 win this part for sure. Now let's move on to how we can access those services. So for Bing.com, all you got to do is navigate yourself to Bing.com, go into the chat feature and basically start typing out your prompt. So for this demonstration, we're going to generate an image of a car in San Francisco. And after a little while, it's decided to give us four red convertibles in San Francisco, which I guess is quite suitable actually. Moving on, let's go to ChatGPT. We're gonna open the chat.openai.com website and create a new conversation, making sure that we're using GPT-4 and we're basically gonna do the same thing. So ask it to generate an image of a car in San Francisco, wait a couple of seconds and we do see that car generated for us. Unfortunately, with ChatGPT, we only get one example of a picture for each prompt. And this time it's a grey saloon, still quite a pretty little image. For Midjourney, it is a little bit more complicated because you do need a separate tool called Discord. And Discord is a group chat application, kind of like a WhatsApp for communities. I have explained how to set up Discord for Midjourney purposes in my previous video. So feel free to jump into that one. But for now, we're going to generate a car in San Francisco. So we move over to our conversation with Midjourney. We type in slash imagine and type the prompt in. That is the format that we have to go with in Midjourney. So slash means that we're starting a new command and our command for generating images is imagine and then whatever we need to generate follows. So a car in San Francisco, we wait a little bit and again we get four different images generated for us. Very different styles, which I do like and quite photorealistic as well. That concludes accessibility and ease of use. And just because ChatGPT and Bing.com are very simple to start using, you just need the website and no extra tools, I'm going to give the point to DALI 3. For image retrieval, let's start with ChatGPT this time. And the way it works is you click into the image that ChatGPT or actually DALI 3 has generated for you. You click into it, you tap the little down arrow, which is the download button and job done. Unfortunately, if you delete the conversation that you started to generate that image, unfortunately, you're going to lose 
access to that image. So be careful so you don't lose your art. With Midjourney, navigate yourself to midjourney.com and tap into my images and you'll see a list of all the different images that you've generated using that tool. And last but not least, let's look at Bing. What you need to do is type in bing.com slash create and that will take you to a page with a lot of different images. Now you're gonna have to click creations, which will be your images and you get instant access to all the images that you've created in the past. With this one, I would say it's about a tie because unless you're using ChatGPT, those images are very simple to access and both have specific websites for accessing those in all in one place. Right, the next category is editing images. So let's have a look at both options. In ChatGPT, we have this blue horse and we're gonna ask it to make the horse red. After a few seconds, we get a new red horse but you can also realize that the scenery has changed. Not significantly, but it has changed. It's not really the same horse and it's standing in a different posture. So not too sure about editing. It's not really editing, it's creating something brand new. The situation with Bing.com is quite similar to ChatGPT as we've also tried to change the color of the horse to red, but this time the scenery is a bit different. The horses are standing in a different way. And now we have a bunch of mushrooms, which are all red to complement our red horse. So not really editing, it's changing the picture. Similar but not really editing, it's creating a new image. In Midjourney, the situation is a little bit different because what we can do is run editing in remix mode. So what we need to do is type slash prefer remix and that will give us a bit more fine tuning capabilities when it comes to editing those images. So we have our four blue horses created. Now we're gonna upscale the first one because that's what you need to do if you want to edit the image. So we're upscaling the first one so we get a higher resolution version of that picture and we are gonna click Varai region. You then select the horse because that's what you want to edit and you'll need to type in what has to change. So I've just recreated the prompt to generate an image of a red horse in the forest and give it some time and we have four new images generated for us. Perhaps the horse is not exactly in the same style as the previous one was, but it is standing in the same stance and the forest surrounding it is identical in each of the images. So this is the closest we're getting in terms of editing images. And I will conclude this round with giving Midjourney one point. So we are at three to two points. All right, now with all that out the way comes my favorite part of the video, which is comparing all the different pieces of art that I've generated for you in all the different art styles that I've prepared. So we're gonna be starting off with comics. And just a disclaimer, I did not help the generators in any way. So the prompt that they got is all that they're getting and I did not change anything. I didn't modify the prompt to get the better result. I am creating a prompt which is simple and doesn't require people to have any prompt engineering skills or anything of that matter. So let's kick it off. We have a prompt of a comic book image of a cat chasing a mouse. And so we have two images. On the left hand side we have Dali, on the right hand side we have Midjourney and the images are completely different. However, one of the things I realized straight away is that Dali has a bit more cartoonish vibe to it. whereas Midjourney is trying to still be realistic. So Dali went full on pop art from the 1950s style, uh, whereas Midjourney is just a generic image from a cartoon, in my opinion. The good thing about Dali 3 is that if you look at the background, everything seems to be more or less in order. We see a block of flats and we do see a mouse which is being chased and that was part of the prompt. So Dali didn't ignore me. We got the mouse, we got the cats and they are chasing each other. With Midjourney, it's a bit different. Midjourney hasn't given us the mouse and I don't know if it's just me, I don't see that 3D effect of the paws so they looked like very stubby little feet but I guess they were going for outstretched paws but I'm not convinced. So I definitely prefer the Dali 3 image. Next up we have a comic book image of a superhero running through a busy city. Dali 3 has given us a bit more of a photorealistic image of a man running through New York, I think and it is more of a Pixar kind of image, whereas Midjourney has gone with a more cartoonish vibe this time. However, again, if you look at the details in the background, it seems like all the cars are misfigured and I'm not really sure what we're looking at here. Is it confetti or an explosion? Both great images, but again, I think Dali 3 would be my choice. And then we have our last comic, 
which is a comic book image of a mad scientist performing experiments. And again, very cartoonish on Dali's side, pretty crazy. And Mid Journey has gone a bit more for photorealism. However, have a look at the hands of the mad scientist from Mid Journey. One hand has six fingers, I believe. The other one is completely disformed. And that's a pretty common trait for Mid Journey. Mid Journey is terrible with drawing hands, which we're gonna look at in a bit more detail later on. So I am giving Dali 3 a point for comics and we're gonna move over to photorealism. So our first image is a photorealistic image of a woman standing in the rain in a city. And don't think there's much to say here. I think Mid Journey takes it 100% because it does look like a photo. I mean, if you look closer, maybe you'll realize that it is artificially generated, but the face looks very natural. The leather on her jacket looks great. And you can even see the droplets of water in her hair and her hair getting moist from it. Whereas in the case of Dali 3, it's a good image. I won't say it's not, but you can tell straight away that it's not a real human being in the picture. Let's move on to the next picture, which is a photorealistic image of a busy outdoor swimming pool. And again, I would say Mid Journey takes this one because it does look like a photo. Dali 3, as much as I do like the image, and I actually think I do like Dali 3's image more, but it is not photorealistic. It looks like a painting to me. It looks like a modern painting from say the 1940s or so. And the last image in this comparison is a photorealistic image of an airport. And you can see that both tools have very different understandings of the prompt, none of which are wrong. So the first one is an indoor picture of people running through an airport, whereas the other one is an image on the tarmac of an airport. And honestly, both are great. Both are quite photorealistic, which I'm surprised about. So all in all, I'm still gonna give Mid Journey that point because the photorealism in those images is at a much higher level than Mid Journey. Next round is faces. We're gonna start off with an exhausted girl's face riding her bicycle. And be prepared, the results might be a little bit shocking, at least they were for me. So let's start with Mid Journey, please. Yep, photorealistic, looks pretty real to me. Again, if I, if I really zoom in and focus on the image, yes, I will realize that it's uh, AI generated, but honestly, I think it's a great picture. Going to Dali 3, oh boy, that is a pretty scary image to me. It looks like one of those graphics from one of the early 3D games where they tried to be photorealistic and it was completely scary. I'm talking PlayStation 2, early 2000s kind of graphics. Next, a picture of an angry face of a medieval knight. In this case, I was very positively surprised by Dali 3. Not gonna say it's photorealistic, but the face has a lot of detail. The facial hair looks very compelling and I like the, I like the detail on both the knight's armor and faces. And next, let's have a photorealistic picture of a terrified lady. And pretty much same comments as with the girl on the bicycle. Mid Journey did a great job. She is terrified. I, I believe that story. And she looks photorealistic. Dali 3, again, 2002 video game vibes. No way you're gonna fool me. So again, Mid Journey takes this one. And let's move on to category four, which is hands. And let's start off with something which I thought it was gonna be tricky, but it wasn't in the end. So an image of two hands shaking. Both great images, Mid Journey did not have a problem with that. Both hands seem to have five fingers and well, Dali 3 I think went a bit far with um, the veins and the detail. So it looks more like a photorealistic painting rather than a photo, whereas Mid Journey really nailed it. I mean, I wouldn't be able to tell that this is not a photo. So kudos to Mid Journey. Next we have a photorealistic image of seven kids waving their hands. And I wanted to be specific about the number of kids in the pictures because, well, AI is not really good with counting. So that was a test to see if it would do the job right. So in terms of DALI 3, the hands look very well presented. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine children. So it's ignored the seven kids prompt. And in the case of Mid Journey, again, more photorealistic, but one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It was a bit closer, but still not seven kids. And if you zoom in on the hands, there's a hand with four fingers, there's a hand with six fingers. There are two hands from two different kids, which seem to have merged together into one seven finger hand, I think. And then there's one with two thumbs and three fingers. And there's one which has 
kind of come out of nowhere. I'm not really sure whose hand that is. So as I told you, Midjourney is not great at rendering hands. And the last one, again, it was a test to see how good both the tools are with grabbing details. So we asked for a photorealistic image of a man pointing to a bicycle. So what I was expecting was a bicycle and a guy who was pointing at it. But in both cases, well, the number of fingers was right, the hands looked all right, but they were both pointing in a completely different direction than the bicycle. So I guess none of those tools are really great with detail, but that's all right. Um, I'm still gonna give a point to DALI 3 because it's much better at representing hands. Round five, animals. A photorealistic image of a lion hunting. Midjourney, straight out of Animal Planet or National Geographic, very compelling image. DALI 3, not so much. Again, 2002 video game vibes. Then a photorealistic image of a dog fighting a cat. All right, excluding the background, the dog and cat fighting drawn by Midjourney is fantastic. Whereas DALI 3 has still gone with Sims Pet Party vibes where I'm not even sure if those animals are fighting. I mean, they seem to be playing around with each other. So Midjourney is really winning here. And the last one is a photorealistic image of a rooster crowing. And well, DALI 3's rooster is crowing. The Midjourney one isn't, so Midjourney is ignoring me again. However, the image is much better on Midjourney. So again, I'm sorry, but I'm gonna have to give a point to Midjourney for this one. And we're gonna go a little bit abstract now. We're gonna ask both tools to draw an image of a city at dawn, and this is what we're getting. Art is obviously a very personal opinion, so I can't really tell if any of the images is better because what I'll prefer, you might hate, and vice versa. I personally like Midjourney's one a little more, but I'm not saying DALI 3 has done a bad job. Then we're gonna have a look at an abstract image of a Pollock painting, and in this case, I would say that Midjourney is a little bit closer to Pollock's style of painting. Not saying that Dali has done a bad job again, but it's not really close to what Pollock would have painted. And my last one is London Bridge in the style of Picasso. Even ignoring the art styles of the two images, none of those images is correct because this is not London Bridge. It is a bridge in London, but it's Tower Bridge. So a lot of people here would be angry about those pictures. But in this case, I would again say that Midjourney has done a bit of a better job. It is a bit closer to Picasso's style, but still kind of far away. So in this case, I'm not gonna give anyone any points because art is very subjective and you should make up your own decision and experiment with the two tools to see which one suits you better. Next round, generating sketches. So let's have a look at an engineer's design of a bridge. Honestly, very hard to tell which one is better. They both have multiple different angles and details of the designs, which I really love. And I can see myself printing both of those images and hanging them on my wall. I really like those kind of designs. And then let's have a look at a sketch of a young lady looking into the distance. Those are sketches, so again, an art form. So hard to decide which one is better because it all depends on your taste. However, Midjourney does seem to have a bit more detail in the face. So if that's what you prefer, then I guess Midjourney would be the one for you. And then we're gonna have a look at a sketch of a horse on a beach. I am definitely gonna say that the Midjourney one is a better image, at least in my opinion. But going by the logic of the previous round, I am not going to award any points for this one because it's art and art is subjective. But for the next round, we're definitely gonna take points and I believe it's quite a funny one. So the topic is celebrities. And the funny thing is that DALI 3 and ChatGPT and I guess OpenAI as a whole, is very strict on privacy policy and making sure that they tick all the right boxes when generating images or data about specific people. So we're gonna have a look at a photo of a 45-year-old Michael Jackson, which I think we all know what he looked like. And those are the results. Midjourney, well, I don't think Michael Jackson looked like that when he was 45. I think he looked like that when he was a bit younger. However, he never looked like the guy on the left-hand side. So what ChatGPT did was it informed me that it's not going to generate an image of Michael Jackson because it breaks some sort of um, policies. So we will generate an image of a 45-year-old white musician. And so here we go. This is um, Michael Jackson in DALI 3's eyes. Next, let's have a look at another famous person, Mother Teresa at 65. And again, mid-journey for sure. DALI 3. All right, I understand that they don't want to put the face on exactly, but 
they didn't even put the costume which is so famous for Mother Teresa. So it's just a 65 year old lady instead of Mother Teresa, which we were expecting. And then for all you basketball fans, LeBron James at 25 years old. And again, Dali3 told me that it's not going to give me a photo of, of LeBron James, but of a 25 year old African American athlete. The results, well, I guess a little bit closer than in the case of Michael Jackson, but you're definitely going to go for Mid Journey's representation instead. So Mid Journey gets another point. So we are at five points to Dali3 to six points for Mid Journey. So we're not that far off. Next category, architecture, uh, one of my favorites. So generate an image of a modern house on a mountain. Both images are fantastic. I think that Dali 3 is a little less photorealistic. Next one is a bridge joining two mountains and the two tools took very different approaches. The one generated by Dali 3 is a lot more modern, whereas the one by Mid Journey is almost ancient. In this case, Mid Journey has added a lot more detail into the photo and of course, it's a bit more photorealistic. So if that's what you're after, then Mid Journey is your guy. And then I asked for an apartment tower block over a bustling city. And as much as I love Mid Journey's option, you're probably not gonna find a building anywhere like that one. The one generated by Dali 3 is definitely a lot more realistic. And I'm pretty sure I've seen a lot of buildings that look like this one. So all in all, Mid Journey has gone a bit more creative in this round. It's generated a bit more uh, detail in the background and um, that tower block is quite incredible. It's more of an art piece than a building. I'm not convinced which one is a clear winner, so I'm gonna award the two with one point. And the next round is gonna be about precision. So we are going to name a number of different items in the photo and see what they generate. If they're really gonna respect what we've stated in the prompt or are they gonna ignore them or add some of their own details into the picture. So the first one may be a little bit weird, but it's a block of cheese laying by a parked car and a little girl playing with her ball. Well, this is a tough one because the car is not photorealistic. It's got white tires and it looks like it's in a video game. However, we do see a girl playing with a ball and a block of cheese next to the car. Whereas on Mid Journey's side, we do have a girl, but she's reading a book. We have a block of cheese, but it's about the size of the car. And we have a ball, but she's not playing with it. And we have some weird thing next to it, which looks like a mini penguin or God knows what that is. So I think I would lean towards Dali 3's option, but let's have a look at another image. The next one is just a list of things I want to see, which is a dog, a pig and a hamster. And as much as both images are great, Dali 3 does have a dog, a pig and a hamster, whereas Mid Journey has two dogs and a pig with a very strange nose on it. Let's look at our last example, which is a rooster on a ladder at a swimming pool. And both images managed to get it right. It is a rooster, there is a ladder, and it seems to be in or by a swimming pool. So good job on those two. However, I'm still gonna give a point to Dali 3 because it is a lot more specific, is a lot more detail oriented in terms of generating those images. Next category is nature, and we're gonna have a look at an image of a mountain range in the autumn. Great images, photorealism from Mid Journey. Then we have a picture of a lake in a forest and exactly as expected, Dali 3 has done a good job, but Mid Journey has gone a lot more realistic. The waves, kind of hard to tell apart. They're both pretty much identical really. In this case, a bit hard to give a decision. I think they're both good options. We didn't really ask for photorealism. So if photorealism is important for you, then Mid Journey would win. If you're looking for something more artistic, then Dali 3 would win. So again, I'm gonna give those two a draw on the natural part. And we're gonna move over to a category, which is gonna be a lot easier to distinguish between the winner and the loser. So the category is text. We're gonna ask for a graffiti of a phrase, Mondays are tough. So Dali 3, yep, Mondays are tough. Whereas Mid Journey has given us a Donht Tayayux Taois Bali something. So yeah, Mid Journey is terrible at writing texts and there's not even a single part of that word which is even remotely close to Mondays are tough. We're not gonna find anything right in this one. The next one is a text banner, happy birthday. And starting from Mid Journey this time, we have something, which is terrible. 
the photo is all right, but the text is terrible. And in terms of um, DALI 3, it has made a mistake, but it's not as obvious as the one in Mid Journey. Yeah, it's missing a couple of letters, but that's fine. You, you can tell that it, after a couple of generations, it will finally get the text right. I guess it's not that easy for them, but, but DALI 3 is trying and it's almost there. And the last one is a uh, book titled Adventures in Australia. Again, Adventures in Australia by DALI 3. Got two eyes in Australia, which is a mistake, but again, I'm sure at some point it's going to generate it right. Whereas Mid Journey is not even close. Well, maybe the first and last letter, the word which I think was supposed to be Australia is correct, but the rest, no idea. So needless to say, DALI 3 takes the win for this one. And our last category is styles. So we're going to be looking at images in the style of somebody. So my expectation was that because DALI 3 and ChatGPT are a bit strict on all the privacy policy stuff, it's not going to do a good job of um, generating images in the style of someone. But let's have a look at the first one. It's supposed to be a cockroach in the style of Disney. And as much as the cockroach in DALI 3's representation is very similar to Disney or Pixar or one of those studios, the one from Mid Journey is a great picture, but in no way do I see anything related to Disney in it. And then we have a uh, Harley Davidson in the style of Frida Kahlo. And I was honestly expecting a painting of a Harley Davidson in the style of Frida, but in Dali 3's case, we got a Harley Davidson which has painting of Frida and some imagery which is reminiscent of her style. And in the case of Mid Journey, we have Frida riding the Harley Davidson, which is pretty cool, honestly. And our last image in this comparison is a man fishing in the style of Rembrandt. And honestly, I think uh, in this case, Mid Journey has made a mistake of going too photorealistic because that is not exactly the style we're going for. Whereas DALI 3 did a better job of it. So I am going to give this point to DALI 3. So that concludes our boxing round between the two AI generation tools, Mid Journey and DALI 3. And the result is DALI 3 10 points and Mid Journey 8 points. And of course, it doesn't mean that DALI 3 is better than Mid Journey or Mid Journey is worse than DALI 3. It just means that going through all the different categories, which might be relevant or less relevant to some of you, DALI 3 is, I guess, a more generic tool. If you're going for something more artistic, DALI 3 is probably your way to go. If you're looking for details, again, DALI 3. But if you're looking for photorealism, definitely Mid Journey. So I think for my case, I probably will go with DALI 3 because I don't need to generate that many images and DALI 3 does the job exactly as I need it, but do let me know what you think. And if you would like to see a more detailed explanation of how to use DALI 3 in Mid Journey, there are two videos which will pop up some around me uh, where I explain how to start using it and how to get better at generating prompts. So thank you very much for your attention and I will see you all next week.